Hey mathematics learners, welcome to Distance Learning with Lee, where I make learning mathematics super easy. On today's video tutorial, we are going to be learning about special right triangles and how the angles that are found in these special right triangles can be used to answer our compound angle questions. How? So we're going to be going through uh, an example where I show you guys how we can basically expand or write out the cosine of 15 degrees as a compound angle using special angles so that we prove that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side right and i'll also be showing um going through an example where we evaluate the cosine of 75 degrees plus the cosine of 15 degrees right by writing out this cosine of 70 degrees as a compound angle using special angles as well as the cosine of 15 degrees we're going to be writing that out as a compound angle using special angles to evaluate it or simplify it further without using a calculator before we get started with the video tutorial please make sure that you are subscribed to the channel you click on the notification bell so that you get notified every time i upload a video tutorial and please make sure that you give this video tutorial a huge thumbs up because it helps the channel grow and reach more learners that want to better their mathematics marks so without any further ado let's get started with the video tutorial <laughs> so what are special angles special angles are the angles that are found inside your special right angle triangle your special right triangles right so it's your 30 and your 60 degrees as well as your 45 and your 45 degrees right so these are the angles that are found in our special right triangles right and basically how this helps us is that we can define our trig ratios in terms of these angles you can define the sign of your angle theta in terms of you can define your sine your cos and your tan in terms of your angle the 30 degree um, angle as well as the 60 degree angle that is found in this special right triangle you can define sine cos and tan in terms of the 45 degree that are found in your special right angle triangle right so that is basically it it's basically defining your trig ratios in terms of the special angles that we have um in these triangles okay so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna draw a table where i define your trig ratio your trig ratio sine cosine as well as 10 in terms of these um special angles right and guys it's very important that you guys um memorize these special right triangles right um as well as the special angles that go into these triangles because it's very important especially if you're going to be writing an nbt test right you need to know these um special angles off by heart because they come in handy when you're writing your nbt test and you're asked um maybe the cosine of 30 degrees you need to know that the cosine of 30 degrees is square root 3 over 2 right so i'm just going to put a table where i write um i write down all these um define your trig ratios in terms of these special angles and please make sure that you guys um um write this down and you keep it close to you guys and also just memorize it right and also memorize these triangles and also understand how i got or how i define those trig ratios um in terms of these special angles so i'm just going to put the table and put all these values please make sure that you copy them down and you also memorize them or even just understand how i got the the values in terms of um by using these special right triangles all right and then from here we are just gonna obviously define the trig ratios in terms of the angle 30 um in terms of your ang the 30 degree angle 60 degree angle as well as the 45 degree angle so we're going to start with sine and you know that sine is the opposite over your hypotenuse if you want the opposite side to our 30 degree angle it is one over two right okay sine of 60 is opposite over your hypotenuse so it's square root three over two okay looking at your angle 45 what is the opposite side it is one over your hypotenuse which is square root two okay 
let's go to cos so the cosine of 30 degrees it's your adjacent your adjacent over your hypotenuse square root 3 over 2 okay the cosine of 60 degrees it's your adjacent which is 1 over your hypotenuse which is 2 okay and the cosine of 45 degrees it can be this one or it can be this one it stays the same so it's your adjacent which is 1 over 3 2 okay let's go to the tangent we know that 10 is opposite over your adjacent right so what is your 10 of 30 degrees so 10 of 30 degrees is your adjacent which is 3 over your hypotenuse which is square root 3 over 2 okay so the 10 of 60 degrees it is your adjacent which is 1 over your hypotenuse which is i mean over your okay so the 10 of 30 degrees it is your opposite over your adjacent so it's 1 over square root 3 okay the 10 of 60 degrees, it's your opposite, which is square root 3, square root 3, over your adjacent, which is 1, so it's square root 3 over 1. And the 10 of 45 degrees, so that's your 45 degrees, so your opposite, which is 1, over, so it's your opposite, which is 1, over your adjacent, which is 1. So it's 1 over 1, which is 1. All right, so basically, guys, I've shown you guys how they define your trig ratios in terms of your spatial angles. Please make sure that you remember how I got this table because it will be important even in your exams, um, especially even when you're working with compound angles, especially when you give me something like um, the cosine of 15 degrees, right? If you don't know about spatial angles, it will it will be hard for you guys to prove the right hand side. Okay, guys. So that is it. Please make sure that you copy down this table and you also memorize or you remember how we obtained all these values that are put onto this table okay so let's get started with the exercises or the examples here's the formula for the cosine of x minus y to show without using a calculator this is a key thing right so i want you to show without using a calculator that cosine of 15 degrees is equal to the square root of 3 plus 1 all over 2 square root 2 right so here guys we already know that okay they don't want us to use a calculator so that tells us that you need to use either special angles and you need to show how you get your answers right so that's the very important part that you guys need to um remember without using a calculator really you do have to not use a calculator you can't just go to your calculator and type in cos of 15 degrees and think that you'll um that'll be enough right so you need to prove um how they got to that and for you to show how they got to that you need to show that you understand that we need to apply special angles okay cos of 15 degrees so how can we write cos the cosine of 15 degrees in terms of special angles right we know that when we're working with special angles right the angles that we have it is 60 it is 30 degrees as well as 45 right so you need to think of the angles or a, a good combination that you can use um from these spatial angles that will give you something plus something will be probably 15 or something minus something will give us 15. so what combination can we use that will give us that when we either add them together or subtract them from each other they'll give us 15. if we take 60 minus 45 60 minus 45 you get 15 so that's a great special angle combination that we can use to help us prove this right so we can just simply use that right and another thing is that they give us a hint here they say that use the formula cosine of x minus y right so that tells you that when you use your special angles to get your 15 it needs to be an angle minus another angle right so an angle minus another angle so that gives us that is our clue there right so the cosine of okay so i'm just going to use another page so the cosine of 15 degrees can also be written as cosine of 60 degrees minus 45 okay and then from here we know that we can just simply okay so from here we can just say cos sine of 60 degrees minus 45 we can use a compound angle identity to expand this right and that is going to be cosine of 60 times cosine of 45 right the if you're working with cosine, we know that the sine changes, so it'll be plus, right, sine of 60 degrees times sine of 45 degrees, right? From here, we just simply go to our special angle for me, um, special angle table, and we look what is cosine of 60, right? Okay, so what is the cos or the cos of 60 degrees? The cos of 60 degrees is 1 over 2, so we're just going to put that there multiply what is cos of 45 degrees cos of 45 degrees is 1 over square root 2 plus 
sine of 60 sine of 60 degrees is square root 3 over 2 times sine of 45 degrees sine of 45 degrees is 1 over square root 2 mm. all right so from here we're just going to simplify this further 1 over 2 multiplied by 1 over square root 2 that gives us okay that gives us square root 2 over 4 plus square root 3 over 2 multiplied by 1 over square root 2 okay that gives us square root 6 over 4 okay so from here what do we do so we've got square root 2 plus square root 6 all over 4 right and if you take out the square root 2 right well what will you be left with you'll be left with 1 plus square root 3 over okay that's 2 square root 2 2 square root 2 multiplied by okay so let's just do that at the bottom as well take out the square root 2 okay if you take out a square root 2 you'll be left with the 2 square root 2 okay okay then the square root 2s will cancel making your final answer okay square root 3 plus 1 so that's your numerator over 2 square root 2 okay and then from here guys we have basically proven that your cos of the cosine of 15 or cos of 15 degrees is equal to the square root is equal to square root 3 plus 1 all over 2 square root 2 okay next question evaluates cos of 75 degrees plus cos of 15 degrees without using a calculator like i mentioned here right the hint is that we mustn't use a calculator so if we mustn't use a calculator that tells us that we must either use we must use special angles right and how do we use the special angles we basically have to rewrite the cos or uh, the cos of 75 degrees as a compound angle using special angles and also need to rewrite the cos of 15 degrees right as a compound angle using special angles all right so let's get started like i mentioned we are going to rewrite cos of 75 degrees as a compound angle using special angles right so we're either going to say something minus something using special angles or something plus something using special angles must give us 75 degrees right so let's have a look here so with our special angles what plus what um can give us 75 degrees right do we agree that 30 plus 45 gives us 75 okay so we can say that cos of 75 is cos of 30 degrees plus 45 degrees okay plus we also need to rewrite the cos of 15 degrees as a compound angle using special angles with this one we've just done this just now right and we said that cos of 15 degrees rewritten as a compound angle using special angles is right cos of 60 degrees minus 45 so we're just gonna put that there okay and you can just check cos of 30 plus 45 i mean 30 30 plus 45 is equal to 75 and 60 minus 45 is equal to 15 so we've rewritten the cos of 75 as well as the cos of 15 as compound angles using special angles from here what do we do we're going to expand the cos of 30 plus 45 at, um, using the compound angle identity for cos of an angle plus another angle so what does the compound angle identity say right okay so you've got a cos of an angle plus another angle it's going to be cos of a times cos of b minus sine of a times sine of b so that is what we're going to do here right so it's going to be cos of 30 degrees times cos of 45 degrees minus because the sine changes sine of 30 degrees times sine of 45 degrees plus right cos of 60 minus 45 right that is this one here cos of a minus b so we use that identity there which is cos of a times cos of b plus sine of a times sine of b right so it's going to be cos of 60 degrees times cos of 45 degrees plus because the sign changes sine of 60 degrees times sine of 
45 degrees right and then from here it becomes easy peasy lemon squeezy because we know that we've got special angles you just simply go to our special angles for um table right and use it to define these trig ratios right so cos of 30 degrees is right okay so cos of 30 degrees is square root 3 over 2 times cos of 45 is 1 over square root 2 minus sine of 30 degrees is 1 over 2 times sine of 45 is 1 over square root 2 plus cos of 60 is cos of 60 degrees is 1 over 2 times cos of 45 degrees is 1 over square root 2 plus sine of 60 degrees is square root 3 over 2 times sine of 45 degrees is 1 over square root 2 okay from here we're going to just add our like terms we can already see that we've got negative 1 over 2 times 1 over square root 2 plus 1 over 2 times 1 over square root 2 so these ones will cancel because they're like terms right and you'll be left with square root 3 over 2 times 1 over 2 which is equal to square root 6 over 4 okay plus what is that one square root 3 over 2 multiplied by 1 over square root 2 which is square root 6 over 4 right so from here square root 6 over 4 plus square root 6 over 4 is going to be equal to square root 6 over 2 okay and that is our final answer so we have evaluated the cos of 75 degrees plus the cos of 15 degrees without using a calculator okay first thing that we first did is that we basically wrote out the cos of 75 degrees as a compound angle using special angles right so we did that there for the cos of 75 degrees as well as for the cos of 15 degrees and then from there we were able to expand the compound angle identities right of cos 30 plus 45 as well as cos of 60 minus 45 and then from there guys it really became easy peasy lemon squeezy because we just added our like terms and then you multiplied um um the square root 3 over 2 with the 1 over square root uh 1 over square root 2 plus you added the square root 3 over 2 multiplied by 1 over square root 2 and we found that our final answer is square root 6 over um 2 okay so that is it guys for today's video tutorial on how we use special angles to answer your compound angle questions i hope that this video was um super super informative and it helped you in just analyzing questions that involve compound angles and especially if you are told that you mustn't use a calculator that's when it's supposed to click um in your head that you need to use your special angle right hope i made this video tutorial straightforward and easy for you guys to understand please guys make sure that you um engage with me on the comment section tell me how you found the video tutorial and just tell me what other video tutorials you guys would love to see on the channel because this is your channel guys um, i'm here to help you guys so i need to upload videos that you guys want to see on the video um on the channel don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't please make sure that you also give this video to talk, um video a huge thumbs up guys it really helps the channel grow and also please share these video tutorials with your friends um that i mean everyone just wants to do better in mathematics so please share the video tutorial with them so that they also have that online tutor that will also help them all right guys so that is it for today's video tutorial and i'll see you guys on my next upload that is it guys and i'll see you guys on my next upload distance learning with lee where i make learning mathematics super easy guys.